Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be drawing a pair of cherries. I saw this picture and I thought it showed a really interesting um, perspective on light shining and reflections and things. So I thought this would be an ideal one, a nice simple one for everyone to do. And I'm going to do it on a postcard size piece of paper. So I'm going to start by drawing the cherries in. So they're not quite round. They're sort of, they've got a roundish top, but then they come into a narrower bottom. So I'm going to draw a pair of cherries. Draw them sitting together. Like that. Come down and around. Do the one slightly bigger. I'll change the shape on this one, just a fraction. You can adjust as you need to. And then they've got quite long stems that join so I'll come up here draw the stems in like that and then they're sort of joined at the top by a little bit of a stalk so I'll draw where they join onto the fruit just at the top there like that but this one's got a reflection on it about there, so I'll leave that. This one's got a couple of reflections on it. And I'm going to start by getting my brush. And I'm going to start with a light red tone because I will build from light to dark. So I'm going to start with a lighter red colour. <clears throat> Give my palette a quick wipe down. Because I've got some paint on it from the other day. That's all sorted. There we go. And I'm going to start with Scarlet Red. So I'm going to get my brush, rinse it in the water, get my Scarlet Red. And I'm going to start by doing a thin layer, staying away from those little squares of white because they're the light reflecting onto the cherries. This is a very simple, fun drawing that you can do. And you could, um, you know, even do it as a Christmas card. You could do it, draw a picture of um, holly. Uh, it's very similar sort of colors. I'll probably do that in the next few days. Just nice and simple. Just fill in around here. Okay, that's the first layer in there. You can see I've got a little bit of excess paint just down here. So I'm going to clean my brush just to take up the excess moisture. Pick that up. Okie doke. Now I'm going to go for a stronger red. I'm going to go for ruby red. So it's a beautiful, strong red. And I'm going to, while that's still damp, I'm going to go in and add that ruby red around the top of the cherries. Anywhere I can see that's a stronger tone, stronger colour. It's stronger up this whole top half pretty much. The bottom's lighter. And because the, water, the paint's still damp on from the previous layer, it'll flow around a little bit, which helps to create the um, perspective of lights and darks and just helps make it interesting and it helps to make it look softer. So again, come around on the top of this one. Keep a little bit there. I went over it, doesn't matter. Come again, around, down bottom of the cherries. I'm just gonna add a little bit more red to the bottom of that one, like that. And now I'm gonna go in even with a bit of rose magenta while that's still damp on top. Bit of rose magenta. Get that to lift up off my palette.
I'm going to drop some more of that up the top just to make that bit even stronger. In and around, let it flow down because that's all still damp. Come around the top of this one. You can see that started to give them a three dimensional look. Darker on that side because that's next to that one in shade. It'll make it a fraction wider. Like that. Same with this one. I'll make it a fraction wider, a bit rounder. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to get my brush, drag it, moisten it, take the excess moisture off, and then just drag that red around a bit more. I just want to soften. Where, the, where it joins so I don't want it to look so hard there we go now I'm going to get onto the stems and the stems are sap green so I'm going to go into my sap green and just start off with a light light layer of sap green I'll stay away from the pink the red at the second just because I don't want it to flow in there it'll dry pretty fast I'm using a medium grain paper to help it helps create texture, a little bit of texture. So the stems are quite pale. I'll gently work that down onto the base of the cherry, like that. And I'm going to come in with a little bit of stronger green. I'm going to go a little bit of olive green, just a touch, just a touch. And I'm going to touch that into the edge, whoops, to the edge of the stalk stem just at the very edge and let it flow back in to the sap green you can see that just darkens up the inside where it would be in shade or in shadow like that just like that now the top of the cherries is a little bit of brown I'm going to use a little bit of yellow ochre I can go over the top of the green it won't hurt it just add that in there and there you have a simple cherry painting. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'd love it if you click like and subscribe, click on the bell icon, where you'll be notified when I release a new video. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.